Hi, we're here with uh, Tom Peterson from the Center for uh, Climate Strategies. Tom, you and your group do a lot of work with uh, states on climate, uh, developing climate uh, strategies. Um, tell me a little bit about the center and, and really what you think the role of states is now in the, in the climate issue. The center was formed a few years ago to help states tackle the issue of climate change by working with governors primarily and other state leaders who wanted to step up to the plate and find ways to begin reducing greenhouse gas emissions to tackle the problem from the bottom up here in the United States, which is very typical of the way we, we tackle a lot of these national problems. And so we've been supporting them in the formulation of comprehensive climate action plans and all the policies that are involved in reducing emissions from all the different economic sectors in the economy and ultimately lead to national policies and we hope even international agreements that can lead the nation forward in terms of addressing the problem. Do you believe very much in, in the stakeholder process coming to consensus? Um, that's how you've driven most of your projects, haven't you? Yeah, we certainly think it's true that two heads are better than one, and the experience is that groups of people working together combined with experts have tremendous power in terms of identifying the best solutions that can actually be implemented at the end of the day. So when we help states develop their plans, the whole purpose is to develop policy recommendations that can be adopted and implemented by a governor, by a legislature, by local governments if that is required. And so working with practitioners from all the different uh, industries, working with people from local governments, environmental interests, members of the faith community, etc., uh, gives us the opportunity to make sure that the selection and design of the policies right down to the implementation mechanisms are things that really do make the most sense for their state and really will work. And this process has been very, very successful. And you're working right now as a consultant to the uh, Department of uh, Conservation, Natural Resources, and the Carbon Management Plan, and you use the same approach there, I take it, too. Exactly. That's right. The Pennsylvania Carbon Management Advisory Group uh, has included a broad set of stakeholders and technical experts that are working through a stepwise fact-based process to identify a set of recommendations for Secretary DeBerardinas uh, in terms of forestry and geologic sequestration activities that can reduce greenhouse gas emissions in Pennsylvania and then be a part of a larger comprehensive strategy that Governor Rendell is assembling at this time. Well, states tend to be sort of the boots on the ground people, and right now there seems to be a lot of activity in Congress about climate change legislation. Do you think we will have a national framework uh, uh, for climate change and, and a national registry and those sorts of tools before too long? As of April 2nd of this year, the Supreme Court made it fairly clear in saying emphatically that the answer is yes. In fact, we already have that framework. It's called the Clean Air Act. The greenhouse gases are in fact pollutants that need to be covered by the Clean Air Act. So it will be the responsibility of the next president and the next administration if this president decides not to, uh, to take up the task to actually add greenhouse gas controls to the Clean Air Act. That will mean that the uh, federal Congress and the federal administration and all of its agencies will need to figure out how to structure an approach that will enable all the different sectors of the economy and all different levels of government uh, to reduce this pollution in the same way that we have with air pollution from other sources. The template for that is fairly clear under the current Clean Air Act. There is uh, a section of it that deals with national standards for some sources and another part of it that deals with uh, the uh, development of state implementation plans which are combinations of policies and programs that are tailor-made for each state. And the two of those things together achieve the full range of reductions that are needed. So certainly the Clean Air Act is a template that's here. Uh, by law, it is a template that must be used. And I think the combination of, of that ruling and the, uh, the clear and growing interest in Congress and then the tremendous uh, support and leadership of the states that have been demonstrating exactly how that could all be pulled together will mean that it's only a matter of time before we do have fairly detailed uh, implemented national legislation. Good. Well, thank you very much, Tom. Thank you.